Namaste. My name is Wizimara. I'm an international meditation master. Today I want to speak see both sides. The positive thinkers think we should think only positive. And that can be not more wrong than that. Last week happened some happened an awful incident. A husband <laughs> posted beautiful pictures of his smiling kids and spouse on Facebook. Two hours later, he stabbed his three kids and himself and burned his wife. So the whole family was dead. What was the cause? Suppressed negative feelings. Why? His spouse and, he, and him had a, a bodybuilding studio and they were quite engaged in that. And then they separated, or they wanted to separate it. And he could not stand that. There was a problem. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. With positive thinking, you suppress your negative feelings. And it's only allowed to be positive. And then you can't share in an awful situation or when you have misfortune, your bad luck, your negative emotions with other people because your friends are also positive thinkers. And then they think that you are a negative person and then they, then they leave you alone. And I've read this again and again on Facebook. Leave negative people alone. This means people in big problems. The thing is, if we suppress over a long term our negative emotions, then they will erupt. And we can't control them anymore. We don't know the moment when our negative emotions are coming up. We're sitting just on dynamite and the dynamite can explode every moment. And so the cause was negative, or negative uh, suppressed emotions caused by positive thinking. So I had also deep problems in my life. So I have made therapy, bionetics and counter, and this, and this therapy, you release your negative emotions. You are crying, you are, uh, release your anger, you are so angry in these uh, groups. And you should go deep in your anger, in your negative emotions. And afterwards, you see the light. We are full of love. You go from one pole to the other pole. And positive thinker thinks this is madness. They cannot understand this. That life has two poles. So I have intended the best therapies groups and the best therapists in the world to get rid of my traumas that hindered me to live a lovely life and to enjoy my life. The positive thinker thinks it is just madness. But in these groups, you learn to accept yourself and other people. 
you learn to deal with your negative emotions. And you know you cannot love anybody if you are full of suppressed negative feelings. And you know how to release your negative feelings without hurting anybody. This means if you're in a relationship and you're full angry on your partner, then you don't don't unload your anger or sadness on your partner. No, you make your exercise or you go to a bodybuilding studio, <laughs> for instance, <laughs> and, and making hard extra body exercise or just make your um, garden work to open up again because we want to laugh and we want to share our love. And with our in negative emotions, we can't do that. Makes that sense or not sense? And then you see that we have to embrace our negative emotions. We're not against that. We embrace them. We accept them, because when we fight against something, we make the other side stronger. And this positive thinker never, never can understand. They are judging, and you should not judge. You should embrace everything. They judge. This is negative, and we don't want to do, have to do something with negative things. They won't be only positive and they can't understand that they are the maker of wars everywhere. They fight against the negative things in life. Or negative people, let them alone. And the reality is that they are the root of the evil. Nothing more. We embrace our negative emotion, we embrace our love, we embrace everything. And that is meditation. To watch and let happen, regardless of what. And no interfering. And then the life becomes a paradise. The fighting is over. Okay. Thank you that I could speak about this and 